practice yoga exercises to bring us closer to balance. And so the art of living really is, is if yoga is really working in your life, you're moving towards balance. Because most of us either sleep too much or we sleep too little. We're either type A, driving, 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 or we're coasting. And so yoga somehow balances the hard and the soft. If we're way too hard, yoga softens us up. If we're you know, too weak and fragile, yoga creates some firmness, some strength. We're constantly stimulated and there's so much noise, and pollution, that moments of silence, moments of rest and recovery are essential to vibrant health. People don't realize that, but there's like an epidemic of back pain. And really what I find is most people think their back pain is from some, oh, I was bending over and lifting something and my back went out. I'm like, well, really, how much sleep have you been getting lately? I'm like, oh, I haven't been able to sleep very well. But they don't relate that their health, physical or mental, has to do with their rest and recovery. They're constantly going, going. They just don't make that connection. So let's say, for example, you know, you're digging a well and the water's 20 feet down. It seems there's less and less commitment and focus and strong determination just to dig a hole and go all the way down and keep digging. It, it's, it's beneath the surface, it takes a while. And I would say that's one of the qualities yoga helps you develop that seems to be harder for a lot of people to cultivate is the ability to focus for longer periods of time and develop their power of self-observation. Mm -hmm.